I played college baseball for Oregon State University and won the College World Series in 2006 with them. I was struck by a hit and run driver. I was told that I was paralyzed and would never feel or move anything from my chest down. I got ejected from a vehicle because I wasn't wearing a seatbelt and that left me paralyzed from the chest down. When he was two years and three months, Caden was hit by a car. The neurosurgeon said he might move one arm um, but paralyzed from the chest down and not able to walk again. So the initial prognosis for me was you're basically never going to be able to move your hands or your arms. Pretty much paralyzed me from the chest down. My motor locked up on my bike and uh, it caused it to land nose down. So the doctors came in and they explained to me that there was no hope for me to regain any mobility or movement that I needed to learn how to live from the wheelchair. That just wasn't how it was supposed to be. The Kentucky Spinal Cord Injury Research Center is unique in that we have a continuum of care and cure. Without that partnership, we wouldn't be able to take the scientific knowledge and bring it to uh, the patients as quickly and as effectively as we can. Patients who have spinal cord injury have the opportunity to come to Fraser and really receive cutting edge treatment but also cutting edge science delivered to them. You can do science here in a lab, you can have a finding, you have evidence, and you walk right across the hallway and you put it to use. It's absolutely at the cutting edge of uh, the field of neuro restoration and neuro rehabilitation. I've been to a number of centers around the country, and by far the University of Louisville Fraser Rehab has been the best services and training I've received anywhere. We used to think that when you had a spinal cord injury, or a brain injury or any other neurologic injury that resulted in paralysis, there was really nothing you could do. But what we know now is that, in fact, the spinal cord can function very well, even when there's severe loss of input from the brain. We retrain the, the, the spinal cord. The spinal cord is much like the brain. It can think, it can learn. The closer we can approximate that experience of walking, the better the nervous system is going to recognize it and say, hey, we're walking and generate a motor output very similar to that. To see the things that have happened with him since we've been here, it's just, it's amazing. He's able to sit up, he's got trunk control, I've seen him move his legs, I've seen him move his hips. We were told for so long that, that this stuff wouldn't happen, that after a year or two of injury you reach a plateau. So seeing these things, it's very remarkable, it gives you hope. We are the only site in the world that has done uh, epidural stimulation in people with severe spinal cord injury. We combine the epidural stimulation with retraining, sending sensory signals back to the spinal cord about walking or standing or whatever we want the movement to be. And when we do that over and over, we can regain really high levels of function uh, that weren't possible before we had that knowledge. We've implanted four people so far, uh, people who had been completely paralyzed, couldn't move for over two years, and all four of them now can move, but only when the stimulator's on. Left leg up, left leg down. Right leg up, right leg down. Once you're not able to stand on your legs and you go so long without being able to stand up by yourself, and you have the stimulator and you turn it on and you just stand up on your own and it's just like, I'm standing. So I've gotten a lot of function back, including my hands. I've gotten back the ability to stand, move my toes, ankles, knees, hips, all on command. Uh, I've gotten back a very good sensation and feeling, uh, as well as the other things that, that a lot of people don't think about. Uh, bladder function, bowel function, uh, sexual function, the ability to sweat, the Epidural Stimulation Project is the definition of victory over paralysis. It is working on quality life today while finding the cure for tomorrow. We want to help train other scientists, other clinicians to be able to provide this, not just in the United States, but worldwide. Many of the rehabilitation approaches that we've applied to spinal cord injury are in fact applicable to stroke, multiple sclerosis, and many other disorders of the nervous system that uh, impact uh, mobility and, and function. This is one of those breakthrough technologies that make a difference in people's lives. This is an investment, this is a team effort, this is terrific. You've got a research and a scientific community that is winning. They're not just getting 
functional recovery in patients. They're getting true victory over paralysis. My experience here has been life-changing. I, mean, I feel like we've really conquered a lot of things that people thought were impossible. Frazier's doing remarkable things, and I think that everybody needs to know what is happening here. It's an answer 